interrupt our program to bring you this important message. All right, guys, before we get started, just want to keep you up to date with the team. And what we did is we upgraded our secondary. I made a trade uh, for Will Allen. He's, uh, you know, 81 overall corner. I think that's just an improvement. D'Angelo Hall was getting torched. And it's not going to solve all of our problems, but hopefully it will help us, uh, at least for this season, until we can do stuff in the uh, draft and free agency. Uh, but if you have any other trade ideas for things that we can do before the deadline, let me know in the comments below. But let's go ahead and get into our matchup in this video, the Denver Broncos and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, it's week four of the NFL. And if your back is sore from raking leaves or cleaning out the gutters, we've got something much better than a heating pad. Football. Lots of good hard football here on ESPN. Broncos, Buccaneers, it's game time. Crowds of tailgaters arriving early this morning. These fans are primed and ready for the game. Hi folks, Dan Stevens here. Welcoming you to Tampa Bay Stadium. Mr. Peter O'Keefe is in the booth with me as always. And Peter, we have some different coaching styles in front of us. Different but both effective. John Gruden is a coach who likes to pick apart the opposing defense with a lot of passes. He wants to force them to cover the whole field and then find the gaps in the coverage. Mike right, Shanahan is got? a different kind of coach. Okay. He's all about all right. running the ball and would love to see 25-plus touches a game for his backs. Well, all right, Peter. We'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses. But first, the Here we go in a matchup on the road against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're going to go ahead and pick tails. See what happens. I uh, would like to come back here and get on the winning side of things. We will see if anything changes week to week. I'm trying to make improvements. And it looks like the Buccaneers won the toss. And that's fine. That's fine. We're going to go south against the win. And let's go ahead and get out here on defense to see if that trade is going to help us in the secondary. Um, but let's just try to improve. Let's just try to get on the winning side of things. Good kick, good kick. Let's go. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Appreciate you. All right, Tampa Bay. What you got? That's a good kick. Yeah, take a knee. All right, so this is going to be an offensive powerhouse. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, all right. Look. All right, we got Dawkins back. All of our injuries... Uh, Kyle's back. So it should be an interesting game. Let's see if we can be injury free. That would be nice, right? All right. We're gonna... Oh, man. Oh. Come on. Come on. Get that. Get that. We got to watch out for Barlow. You got to watch out for 32. I'm familiar with Barlow from when we played with the Jaguars. It's just a good run. Good blocking. Could have made a could have made a play there, but we didn't. We want to do a little bit more man, but it just depends on what the teams give us. Okay, okay. Oh man, there we go. Get him in bounds. Got to work on our open field tackling. Seems like the running game is going to be something we just going to have to really focus in on. Man, I can't believe we didn't get that. Did pretty good. That's not too bad. There we go, Arrington. There we go. We need to see some recruitment from our defense. In a lot of different categories. Our linebackers definitely have to step it up. Let's stuff them up. Let's stuff them up right there. Third and seven. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yo, Lavar, like, this is a player that we need to step up. Uh, him and Keith Brooking. There's, there's some really good linebackers. So let's see if we can see if they step up in this game today. 
Alright. Gotta watch out. Might be a pass here. Oh, just off target. Carson Palmer was pretty good, man, back when he was in the league. <laughs> All I hear about is his brother now, but... All right, we're going to go ahead and do a punt return left. We got Parker back here. And we hold him to a punt, which is good. After those big runs by Barlow. All right, let's see what happens here. There you go, Parker. Get something. That was a weird catch. It's like he kind of delayed himself. Uh-oh. Rogers Beckett. Strong safety. Oof. That's rough, man. I'm so happy that we have our players back. His neck. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Oof. All right, so it's time to get out here on offense. Do some big things. Let's have a better performance here. There you go. What I say, better performance. What I say, 84 on the first play. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Lloyd for two weeks straight making these big, big plays. That's how we start. That's how we start. I love it, man. That's how we need to come into these away games. These home games, every game, make plays like that. 85, man, impressing me. 84 yards, two weeks in a row, guys. Two weeks in a row. This might be the first time we, we are up uh, in a game first. Correct me if I'm wrong. Look at that. Way to set the tone. One play, 84 yards, 11 seconds. Let's get it. That's what we should be able to do, man. That's what we're capable of doing, honestly. Really no reason why we shouldn't. All right, all right. Good kick again. Good kick again. Oh, he's going to bring it up. He's going to bring it up. Ooh. See, I got to work on those angles in my open field tackling. All right, we're going to get to keep brooking. In motion. Hey, way to get in the way, 33. See, it says that Brian and Kyle are hurt, but they're fine. They are fine. So it must have been a game time decision. Maybe they are playing, but they're banged up. Oh, way to put your hands up, 20. Brian Dawkins making a way. Let's go. All right, all right. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Play a little bit of zone. Can we get a stop here? Third downs. We've been having a hard time all year. Oh, what a, oh, what a play by 84, man. Galloway just put his arm out there, stiffed us into the ground. All right. We are just not getting it done on third down. All right, all right, all right. Hey, let's go. Come on. Somebody get back there, man. We got to get back there on those plays. Mm -hmm. Okay, he caught that. Good play, but third and eight. All right, all right. I think too soft is fair. Let's spread it out. See, I'm gonna try to cover the middle, cover the middle. Oh my gosh, Brian Dawkins. <laughs> you make one good play and then we follow it up with this. Like they can't get these these third down conversions are just destroying us. And look at how many people are over him. Like three guys. What's the excuse? I'm gonna bring everybody up. I think it's a run here. Hey, there you go, 27. There's Allen. 
Let's see how he does in this game. He's got pretty good coverage. Whoa! We are right on him. Why didn't you tackle him? All right, let's do Bear Indian three. All right, a little bit of emotion, a little bit of motion. Ah, oh, right over Will Allen's head, man. I wouldn't even say that's his fault. That's definitely the fault of our play calling there on that defensive play. Hey, ah, oh, he was just wasn't there. Good play by Carson Palmer. Our defense was pretty tired, man. So we got to stop these opposing teams on third downs. If not, we're going to be worn out. So we got to stop on the first drive, but they're able to uh, chip at us and get into the end zone. All right, Chambers, let's go. Ooh, 25. Alright, first and 10. There we go. We got to get LT going, man. We got to make sure that this guy is doing what he's supposed to be doing on these plays. Oh my gosh. Those quick drops. I gotta pay attention to the drop. See, he just stands. He's like right there. All right, not doing exactly what I wanted. Can we get... The, the pressure is unreal. <laughs> Just came off unblocked. Right, look, nothing. I don't know why Kyle is doing that. That weird uh, just movement. It feels very stiff. But that's probably because those are quick drop plays. and You know, the quarterback drop in ESP and NFL 2K5 is... It's, it's a pretty big deal. All right, we're just gonna have to punt it. Still tie game, uh, tie ball game. Let's go. We're just gonna hey, move forward, improve. There you go, Carol. Good hit there, man. Second and four. Yeah, we are getting diced up to be fair. Yet again. I'm, I'm going for the the run here. If it's not, we're gonna be kind of screwed. Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Don't make it easy for him. Don't make it easy for him. Somebody get that. You see how that ball just pops up in the air? Oh, my God. They're going to punt it, though. So we, we stop them. We keep it tied. Even though they're past the midway mark. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, can we can we thread the can we thread the sideline? Ooh, I was hoping we could, but only got a few there. All right, let's get our offense going here, man. We're just getting sacked, man. This defensive line for the Tampa Bay Bucks is just serious. I don't know what's up with that. We're gonna have to do something different. Look at that! Look at that, guys! We are just getting eight up. 
What is going on with our line? Wow. Just a bad pass. I mean, at least he caught it. At least he caught it. All right. So not happy with the offense right now. I mean, we have that one big play, thank God, but I don't know. We might have to make some changes at quarterback. Ooh, big hit. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. There we go. We're going to go back to the D-line. See if we can try to get any kind of pressure. Let the linebackers do their thing. Ooh, nice. What? Better be holding. Better be holding. Nice, nice, nice. Second and 17. Yeah, we'll go for it. Let's knock him back a little bit. We're going to go man here. I know they're going to shift it a little bit. Oh, wow. See, I feel like once we bring some pressure, even though he's not running for his life, but just seeing that pocket kind of collapse on him, puts him in a really tough bind. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go. 30-17. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Is that Allen right there? Way to debut, my guy. All right. So we hold him. We got we got plenty of time before halftime. I think we're going to wait till the third quarter to make any quarterback changes if we do. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, no rush. We don't always have to pass. There you go, LT. There we go. Let's see if we can get LT involved. I would love to see some big plays by 21, though. All right, a little bounce out here. Something like that. A little first down right there. It might take us into the first. Uh, not into the first, into the two minute warning. My guy, my bae. Ah, oh, dude, that linebacker just kind of lingers. I thought he was going to go all the way in. Second and 10. Mm. Third and nine. Not a, not a good run there. All right, two minute warning. I'm trying to think of how I want to approach this. All right, we got we got Lloyd and Chambers. Everybody's so. I, hot route, Lloyd. Get him on the slant right there. Just a bad throw, man. He's actually open there. It's a bad throw, but it's mostly my fault. The way I'm maneuvering the quarterback after the snap. It's just not like the other games. It's not like NCAA or Madden. Ooh, that could have been blocked. Yeah, you better for catch it. All right, we're going to make some changes. I think we're going to just put Sean King in. See what he does. You know, we just need to give us the players that are going to give us the best opportunity to win. There we go. There we go. I'd like to see that. Good job, 97. We're in no rush. Let them do their thing. If they want to run the ball. That's fine. Uh... I want to see what they do here. Bro! Bro, what is up with our safeties, bro? They don't do anything. 
They're not making the plays. Here they go. They're going to hit that. They're going to hit us with this. All right. Out of bounds. Starting to stops the clock. I like what 27 is doing. I feel like his presence is being felt, though. Oh, what? I just say that and he coughs that one up. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, man. These teams start to like put in the two minute offense. They're hurrying up and they just dominate, man. They just dominate. Should have had a sack right there. Oh, well. Oh, well, we just, we gotta just push forward. Forget about it. Learn from it, if anything. But, man, dude. We give up some silly stuff. That's frustrating. We got a minute. And we get the ball back at halftime. Ooh, that spin move, man. So here we go. This is the moment that I go ahead and do this. There we go. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, here's that. Here's the drive results. And... All right, number four is in at quarterback for the rest of the game. All right. All right, all right. Oh, Winslow, you got to catch those, man. Got to catch those. So now we're in a, in a funky spot because it's like, do we throw it? Risk the incompletion. There we go. Call a timeout. Scramble. Get that in. Nope, nope. That left outside linebacker has me fool. To be fair. What, darling? Catch that, dude. All right, Sean King, 0 and 3. Third and 10, yet again. Nothing. Are they going to call a timeout? All right. One second left. We got two seconds. Run a play. A little Hail Mary. All right. What? Oh, I pressed the wrong button, man. Ah, it's such a mental... And I give him a play? No way. No way. I can't believe I I tried to pump fake it. Oh, please say he misses. No. Man, that's so... That makes me so mad, dude. That's so dumb. That is so dumb. I pressed R2 instead of L2. All right. So that's, that was so dumb, man. So many bad decisions made right there. You just don't know until they happen. And then, all right. So down 17 to seven and a half. We got the, uh, the change at quarterback. Let's see what we can do. Why is Dawkins back here? All right, got to the 21. Let's go down to Susie Culver, who has an up. First and 10. Thanks, Sam. Good to see Mike Shanahan. Give me a little time to get the defensively and prevent all those first downs. There's nothing open. And they keep... I'm going to have to just learn how to call plays. 
<laughs> they keep hitting me with the same shit. I'm like, that's not working. Where are you throwing it? I like, look at that, dude. I just don't know what. I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's a playbook issue with me right now. But I am just not playing well at all. No. Okay. Come on, man. Is everybody just so bad on this team right now? I'm so disappointed in myself for how I'm playing, but this team just isn't doing anything. They got a freaking offensive lineman out there for their punt return. That don't make any sense. It should be... It should be 17-14, but it's not. All right. All right, good defense right there. I need my defense to start making plays, so creating turnovers, sacks, you know, things like that. All right, can we get to Carson Palmer? I mean, kind of. Without really getting to him, we're making him throw pretty quick. All right, this, this, this hold him. Let's hold him. That's all we can do. Oh, come on. Third down conversions. Look, we get right here. Look, we're about to. And we have three or four guys. They're all in, in that area. Oh, come on. I can't believe we're just, yeah, we're in the area of the play. We're just not making the play. There we go. There we go. They do a lot of pullback stuff, man. I've seen a lot of that. There we go. There we go. Hold him to a field goal, man. Just play the best that you can. That's all I want. If we could get out here and be something on offense, it's not a big deal. Miss it. No, they, look, Tampa Bay is getting super lucky right now. You gotta be kidding me, man. Basically, if it could go right for them, it's gone right. Like right here. Wow. All right. Tomlinson's gonna want to trade at the end of the season. I feel like, man, we haven't been able to use him like I thought we could. Hey, to the 26. And all right. There you go, Dudley. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go, there you go. Let's go, we're gonna run this, hurry up. Hurry up. Wait, somebody hurt? Ty Warner. Ooh, that's why we were getting destroyed out there, man. What day is it? I don't know if you guys heard them say that, but he said, what day is it? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Tomlinson. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Mm. 
Nothing, man. I shouldn't have hurried it up right there. That's when I need to, you know, re restart what I wanted to do. Hey, hey, fourth and three. Way to run. Make a play. Man, you do not know how bad I want to just run it here. Man, ah, oh, dude, it's like, I can't get it to go right. I can't get us to go right. Like, look at how bad that right side was, man. Damn, what a wasted opportunity to get something. I thought we could at least get three points there. Just bad decision making on my part. That's all it comes down to. Yo, get that! Somebody! Nobody wants to catch the ball. Nobody wants an interception. It's so confusing. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Alan! Alan! Thank you, 27, for making a play. That's what's up, 27. Welcome to the Broncos. Will Allen making a play. Thank you. All right. Can we do something with that? You know, a new player comes to this team, makes a play like that. We got to do something with it. Dude, they just stop everything we do, though. Alright, hot route. Bro, just nobody at quarterback. That's all it comes down to. It's just we don't have anybody at quarterback. Third and 13. We're forced to do dumb stuff like this. Ah. <laughs> uh. Why? 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 I just don't understand why they can't make, they can't do it. They can't, they can't make the plays. I can't seem to get the right play calling in. Bro, he's a, he's an offensive lineman. Stop him. Jeez. How do we get that interception and don't do anything with it? Come on, I can't believe we just haven't done whatever we needed to do to get us in a good position here, except for that one play. Come on, come on. Yo, let's go. We're making plays, though. Offensive holding, take it. Second and 17. Nothing. Nothing. Let's go. Come on. So he's starting to miss. He's starting to miss a little bit. We're going to do one. One dog in the dig. Let's go. Man defense. Third and 17. Come on. What? Come on. Dude, they're just making more plays than us. We got two people on him. It's just like Will, I think, Will Allen's short. So these, golly, man. Like, why can't we make those plays? 
Dude, Joey Galloway is killing us, man. Twenty-seven to seven, man. I, I don't know what to tell anybody right now. I, I don't even know what to say to myself. This is just not turning into the type of game I was hoping. But a lot of that's my fault, and I know it's a lot of the play calling. So I'm gonna have to just get better. And I don't know why we got Dawkins. <laughs> Dawkins and Tomlinson out here. Brian Dawkins received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. First and ten. All right, Tomlinson, make a play. I don't know what to do. These linebackers are killing me, man. That's fourth quarter. Yeah, they, they've just taken uh, advantage of all the opportunities that we've given them. That's all it comes down to. Play up. There you go. There you go, Sean. There you go. Now, there's a couple things open there, I'm sure. I'm just trying to get the play calling down here at this point. There you go. There you go. Good job, Chambers. Good catch. Okay. All right. Let's go. No way. Come on. Thomas and fumbles. I mean, it's pretty much a wrap. There's nothing we can do right today. I mean, if you're going to fumble like that. Yeah. Just going to have to lick our wounds here, man. We got something that works. Defensively, I almost want to say we did a little bit better here in some areas. But our offense just couldn't get us into the position that we needed to. Come on, dude. It's like breaking the old habits of playing NCAA Madden. That's all it comes down to. Like, this is a completely different game. Like, they just... Perfect. Perfect blocking. So, they're going to run the clock down as much. I mean, they are more than likely going to get some more points on the board here. But it's frustrating. I'm going to just roll with it. Try to get better. Good play there. Try to keep a better attitude about it. At least we're going to get a good draft pick, right? <laughs> That's the only positive upside I have right now. I just feel like I didn't draft well. This is not a good team. Or it doesn't have certain players and positions that I'm I'm used to um, getting the most out of as a, as a user, right? But, hey, man, if you guys have advice, let me know. Oh, come on. Can you can you tell me how lucky you got to be as a kicker to get these kicks that he's getting number three? Look at these. These should be complete. Mm. I'm jealous. All right. Try to end on a good note. That's all we can do. Thomason's like, dude, get me off this team. I don't think he's had a 100-yard game. Or anything. I just hate, like, the strong zone cutbacks. I don't like cutbacks. 
I'm not a big fan of some of these these plays like this playbook. There we go. There we go. I, I'm just I'm trying to sprint too much as a runner. Okay. Okay. Nothing. Nothing, dude. They got us on deck. There's nothing we can do. And then they they go, hey, how about 50h swing strong? Like that's the play they want me to run all the time. There we go. There we go. There we go. I gotta get. I gotta get used to uh, the play style of this game. Like I really have to embrace it. There we go. There we go. See him kind of just slowing it down, trying to be more patient here. Uh, we just hawked it. That was a bad, bad play. What are you doing? Like, I'm saying that to myself. Like, that's just a dumb play. Like, it's just not knowing how to play the game. That's all it comes down to. It's literally just me not knowing how to play this game again. Ah, okay. Get us out of Tampa Bay because this was a disaster. That was a disaster. And offensively, we are just going to stink. There's like certain moments where I feel like, okay, this is a little bit better. This is a little bit better. But there's a lot of times where I'm like, what are we doing? Like the pressure puts a panic on me and there's just so many little mechanics and buttons that you can press that are different than your casual like EA Sports football title. All right, man, you don't have to. <laughs> He's just hut 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 hut. I'm like, man, hey, look, man, we're done. So we didn't get blown out, but man, we are not doing well, and a lot of it's my fault. So I'm going to have to practice more. I'm gonna have to really get into the swing of things, and and hopefully it'll just click. Like right here. Like why am I so slow? I'm tapping X like everybody's like, oh, you just tap X, but like, okay, I've done that. <laughs> I feel like they just outrun me. There we go. Is his name Flying Saucer? What? Either way, not what I wanted to do. Why are y'all running a play? Wrap it up. We lose, guys. Um, we're gonna figure it out though. I'm gonna get better. So bear with me. 37 is the score today. I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. Thank you for supporting the channel, subscribing, liking, all that. Leave me some tips and tricks in the comments. Go easy on me. I'm going to try to incorporate them. Enjoy Sports Center. Enjoy the post game show. And I will talk to you guys in the next matchup. That's it for me today, though. Peace. Okay, Dave, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post game wrap up. The Buccaneers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Carson Palmer would find his target on this one. That set up a 33-yard field goal. The Buccaneers move ahead by 13. Number four would get the carry here. Good blocking up front. It helped to spring him. The Bucs have to stop on fourth down. Bucs up by 13. Will Allen was in the right place at the right time. 
as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Bucks have it again. Joey Galloway came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. An 83-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. Bucks ahead, 27 to seven. Number 94 comes up big here as this ball's out and he's in the right spot for the recovery. After driving 24 yards on five plays, Jeff Reed get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt and he would in fact deliver. Connect for their third field goal. Bronx losing by 23. Number four would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Bucks have it after a turnover on downs. Sean Bryson would make the first guy miss, then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bucks serve up a blowout, 30 to seven. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Carson Palmer was kind enough to give us a moment of his time, and he's on the field with Susie Collins. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You really showed up today, and you prevailed with a big victory. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Well, I just made most of my abilities that I've been blessed with, and everything fell into place after that. You know, when I get going like I did today, the other team's in trouble. It's as simple as that. Chris, back to you. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Steelers come away with a two-point nail-biting win. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Dorsett Davis is on the move, as you see as he accepts a pretty good offer to leave his current club. Three years, $2.2 million. Jamal Robertson is also on the move as he signs a robust five-year contract with the Chargers. This guy will be on the move. You see it there. He'll be getting a nice little payday, too. Six years, $2.1 million. Sam Coward played well despite the loss and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Patrick Sertan will be on the sidelines for a while, so this defense will need to do some reshuffling in his absence. But the team doctors report a twisted ankle, and he'll be out for four weeks. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Robert Holcomb is probably the one that most leaps out at you. He's suffering from symptoms of a concussion, and he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Bills pick up their first win of the year. Roosevelt Colvin had a ton of sacks and helped his Titans beat the Chargers. Eagles, Bears. Corel General Buckhalter is taking a look at the defense behind the quarterback at the own 14-yard line. Whoop! There he goes with a beautiful spin. Celebrate a touchdown. The Bears win this one by the final score of 13 to 10. Down in the fun and sun of Jacksonville, we had the Jaguars losing by 13. Over at 3Com Park, we had the 49ers come away with a seven-point win. The Buccaneers booted in three field goals in their victory at Tampa. The Redskins won on the road and will now head home to meet the Ravens. Eric Mould had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Falcons, Panthers. Ike Hilliard is always a guy to look for when you're at the 10 yard line as they are right now. Here's the snap, the lob, touchdown. The Falcons go on to win this by the final score of 31 to 28. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Dolphins win their fourth game of the year. Reggie Wayne nabbed two touchdown passes and helped his Raiders beat the Texans. And in our final game, we had the Cardinals come away victorious. 
So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time players. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul.